Hello, hello. It's the mighty Pen Pen. I'm back on the Phoenix Craft server today in Endport, uh, putting together my landscaping kit. Which one of these are empty? You're empty. Hmm, maybe. Yes, yes. Why not? Uh, we're going to finish the other end of the AFK William Bridge. So give me a minute to get some stuff together. No. Yes. And uh, I'll be right with you. No. Definitely no. Last time we finished this end of the bridge, put in a retaining wall, had a retaining wall collapse. It was great fun. This episode, I'm going to work on this end of the bridge. Uh, and it's going to be a natural landscaping job. So instead of having a retaining wall here, I'm going to make this look like a cliff face. Uh, I'm going to excavate out the water just a bit and landscape the edge here so that people can build on this spot. I might actually carve in here and uh, I'm actually not sure. First things first is to cut into this, uh, cut into the land here, hmm, hmm, and make it look a bit more natural rather than the um, mess that we made when we were building the bridge. And while I was building the bridge, we found this neat little corner. Uh, which I'd like to expand and turn into sort of a very pretty little um, underground water cave. Underground water cave? Grotto! Grotto! Look, there's technical terms for these things. So that's the... Oh, sorry, squid break. That's the plan for today, uh, as well as some squid murdering. We're now tracking squid kills. <laughs> as you can see, I've got hardly any, but I'm about to have more. And more ink sacks. Come along, little squiddies. Good squids. Oh, that's better. All right. I will carve into this, make it look a little bit more natural in shape, and I'll be back. There we go. So I've got the basic shape that I want. Uh, really got to stop saying, ah. Uh, the basic shape that I want, which is... Uh, fairly natural looking rocky outcrop and it curves right around up the side of that road. Uh, it's very uniform at the moment of course because I've just done it in smooth stone. Smooth stone? Whatever this stuff is called. Stone. I've just done it in stone and uh, it still needs to have some texture added to it and I think looking at it here, what I also need to do is bring this little bit here down and into the water to make it look a little more natural. And the other thing that I've done uh, is cleared out the grotto. It turns out that there were three caves in here, so I've connected them all up. Put a conduit in here because um, it makes life easier. So this cave, this cave, and this one over here were all separate uh, and now are connected together and will eventually be decorated. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the same video, but I will uh, show you my decoration project process. Blah, blah, words for that. And unless you actually know it's there, like if you come in under the water, it's obvious, but if you come in any other way, it's quite well hidden there, just tucked away. Uh, and you'd never know there was a little grotto in there. So yeah, happy with that. I have also planted a lot of wheat on that slope because it looked boring. Now it looks less boring. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do this. So what I wanna do is bring this down into the water so it looks like it's just naturally an outcrop of the rock coming down. How does that look? No, it needs more here on there. How does that look? 
better, but I've changed my mind. I don't want that one there now. Go away. What do I want? Why am I not happy with this? Maybe this and this. Is that better? Yes, that's better. And then one down there. No, I don't want that. You see the process? It's, it's very uh, straightforward. You put something down, you go, no, I don't want that there. And then you move it again. Very easy process. Anyone can do it. Put one there. Yeah, that's better. That ties the bank and the wall together. Might even do another one out here. Why not? If you're wondering why I'm not using my shovel, it's because the darn thing um, just explodes dirt. <laughs> it really drives me crazy when I go to remove one piece of dirt and end up removing, you know, 15 or 16 at a time. No, this is not true. I love my Efficiency 5 shovel when I'm collecting things like sand in the desert. I didn't want to do that. that look mm, yes I like that so that that makes that bank um, one integrated sort of piece of landscape all the way down there and there'll be a build behind there goodness knows what not my build to do but that way once we landscape it from the riverside or from the far bank this will look like one cohesive area awesome all right, what I'm going to do now is go in and uh, mess that up a bit, put in some andesite, cobblestone, slabs, stairs, you know the drill, and then I'll come back and show you what it's like. All right, see you in a bit. Super brief stop or pause in operations to show you what I've done to the riverbank. So this is coarse dirt and granite. Uh, and all I've done is I've taken away a lot of the green from the edge of the river um, because usually when you've got um, a rocky outcrop the soil tends to be very rocky it doesn't hold moisture um, and it can be you know it's less likely to grow grass so I've just used those two textures to add something else into um, into the riverbank look and I've also got some veins of diorite uh, running up the side of the wall and um, you know when in Minecraft you tend to find diorite and granite and andesite in these big blobs you know? um, but that's not usually how you find things um, you know geologically rocks unless they're volcanic tend to be laid down well especially if they're sedimentary they tend to be laid down in quite narrow layers um, and even if you're talking a volcanic uh, rock type um, you'll find that they they don't appear in these big blobs they sort of they separate out into sheets rather than lumps <laughs> so yeah, so what I've tried to do here is just put some diorite in as veins. I need to put another one in over the other side. And then I need to come in with the granite um, into here and the cobblestone. Um, and then after that, it's just doing the vegetation. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along now. Uh, let me see, show you from this side. Also, I'm really glad I did that wheat hillside it looks so much better so yeah from over here it it actually now instead of just being one big blob of green it's got a lot more interest to the eye and the veins actually lead the eye up and into the rock wall okay back to it see you in a bit and there we go i am finished with my texturing um, I'm really happy with it uh, it's so I've 
been a bit strategic about it. Um, I've kept the gravel mostly to the top and used the cobblestone on the bottom um, and then stone around the middle. So, you know, the broken up bits at the bottom, solid stone in the middle and then the lighter gravel at the top. Um, and I've added a little rock formation here. I tried out a sand bar above the water, but it looked terrible, so I took it down again, <laughs> which is what you do. I've also brought some of the coarse dirt up into the rock wall here, and up here where the rock wall sort of connects with the road. So that this just ties the wall into the landscape, so there's no solid line between the new build and um, and the wall. And over here, um, oh, I haven't finished. Over here, I need to finish off. <laughs> I forgot to fill in. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. So there is a random path here that goes nowhere. Okay, um, I'm going to come back, finish this off, and then put in the vegetation. And then it's done. I'm probably not going to do the grotto today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit congested. I thought the cold was gone, but clearly it's not. So, um, oh, and you can see I've, I've bought all of the texturing from the wall all the way down into the water. So even underwater, and you can see that from the top as well. Um, it just ties it together. And this is this is the key to landscaping. If you've not a lands if you're not a landscaper, you've never done landscaping before. This is one of the important things to do is to not have hard edges. So where you change something, bring it down and around out into the landscape around it. So blur the edges basically, um, and that makes it it fit. It fits together. So even out here where I've done the wheat hill <laughs> the wheat terraces um, I've just brought the wheat out into the landscape so that it doesn't have an abrupt edge and I've done the same up the top can I get up without breaking any wheat let's find out yep so here where it comes up against red's tree farm I've just blended it out added in some cobblestone and pathways to roughen this area up because that was just plain grass before. Uh, I haven't done anything with that, don't look there. <laughs> um, and this also ties Bomb Tricks's bakery into the environment because of course all about the wheat. I can hear zombies, I'm not going to think about that. And that softens the edge of the retaining wall as well. So you can even see, oops, Going backwards, you can see the wheat from down here, and it just blends that into the landscape. Okay, enough talking. I'm going to vegetate this up. There's not actually much vegetation I can add to it, but it'll be mostly along here, uh, maybe a little bit up there. We shall see, and then I'll be back. Okay, and we are done. And I also did a little bit more landscaping over this side, but there it is rock wall complete come and stand up here um, the only thing that is really annoying is that the vines keep growing sideways who knew they grew sideways uh, and also fluffy gaming has built an island sky island just up there which is new very nice uh, yeah so this is the finished product And I'm really happy with how it came out. It looks like what I wanted it to look like, which is a sort of a natural style rock wall. Um, and the bridge, so on this side, a very formal retaining wall, some farms, comes over into the natural rock wall. And this wraps uh, right the way around here. So this angle, this is now going to be a park, uh, but that's not my job to deal with. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> so the rock wall comes around here all the way up the stairs. And I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, we have a new street. Wow, <laughs> things go up quickly here. Uh, and then up the top, it's just blended, a little bit of greenery. 
and over this side I finished off <laughs> the missing bits and pieces and yeah it is now done and I am super happy with it uh, thanks for hanging around for that and if you enjoyed this episode please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing because I have plenty more projects to do. In fact now that this uh, side of the town, bridge side of the town is done, my next project is the llama farm and I'm sorry I've really got to stop swinging backwards and forwards. How about we just look at that? That's a beautiful view. My next project is the llama farm which is on the other side of Endport. And I'm doing a Spanish style hacienda with um, some llama pens and it's sort of on an, a, um, what do you call those things that stick out into the ocean? <laughs> My words aren't working today. A bit of land that sticks out into the ocean and there's going to be lots of marshes, low ground, swampy ground. Uh, and it's going to be fun trying to blend the ocean and the farm together. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, thanks once again for tuning in and sticking around. It was lovely to, um, to have you along for this ride and hope to see you again soon. Pen pen out. Bye.